Hello everyone, in this INR number 29, we are going to discuss about the cardiac axis, ECG cardiac axis, which is again very important thing in the ECG interpretation. So ECG cardiac axis, how we will determine? We will determine by seeing the QRS complex, right? So we are going to see the QRS complex in which lead? In lead number one, lead number two, and augmented lead which is attached to the foot so right one two and evf so remember lead number one lead number two and avf these are the three things which we are going to see the qrs complex right <coughs> so what is normal axis of the heart normal axis of the heart will be called when a positive qrs complex will be seen in the lead number one and avf so for comparison we are using two lead that one and avf right so usually we are going to do that in the same manner we we follow for the ecg interpretation right so lead number one and lead number avf we see the normal axis right a normal axis what how you'll decide qrs axis will be between 30 degree to 90 degree remember plus th minus 30 degree to minus 30 degree so this is the normal remember this is the normal electrical axis so this is the normal cardiac axis which we are seeing here right so normal cardiac axis is ranging from minus 30 degree to plus 90 degree examiner will be asking this question right so minus 30 to plus 90 degree this is the area this is the area of the normal ECG axis or normal cardiac axis right what are the normal abnormal axis deviation so abnormal axis deviations are left axis deviation then right axis deviation and then extreme axis deviation so first I will tell you what is left axis deviation when you find the QRS is between minus 30 degree to minus 90 degree so minus 30 to minus 90 this will be called as left axis deviation so you can see the green color left axis deviation is minus 30 to minus 90 so this will be the left axis deviation right axis deviation will be right axis deviation will be from plus 90 degree to 180 degree plus so this is right axis deviation which we are seeing in the blue color right so this is the right axis deviation and when you are seeing from minus 90 to 180 plus that will be extreme axis deviation also called as northwest axis right so now you can see what are the abnormal axis number one is left axis deviation right this one left axis deviation minus 30 to minus 90 so qrs qrs axis is between minus 30 to minus 90 degree right where you will find them in diffuse left ventricular disease in diffuse left ventricular disease we can see this in inferior myocardial infarction so inferior wall mi will be showing you left anterior hemi block can also show you the left axis deviation right right axis deviation what we will see right axis deviation is when qrs axis is between plus 90 to plus 180 so when QRS axis is plus 92, plus 180, that will be called as red uh, right axis deviation, right? Extreme axis deviation. When you find QRS axis between minus 92, plus 180, QRS axis is, is minus 90 to 180 degree. That is called as northwest axis. And when we will see this extreme axis deviation, you will see in tricuspid atresia. Epstein anomaly and WPW syndromes and dextrocardia, right? So these are the important thing. When we are seeing the ECG, we will focus on the two, two leads, number lead number one and lead number AVF. And then we will see. So normal axis, what you will find? Normal axis QRS, when we are seeing the normal axis deviation, you will find that QRS slope is both are going up in both in both one and AVF, it will be going up. So this is normal axis, which is minus 30 to plus 90 degree. When you are seeing the lead number one and AF for the left axis deviation. So in left axis deviation, number one QRS complex will be going upward deflection means positive deflection. And in AVF, it will be going for negative deflection. So it is minus 30 to minus 90 left axis deviation. Whereas right axis deviation, when you will see in the lead one, so you will see QRS complexes having deflection towards the negative. Negative deflection will be there. Whereas QRS deflection will be positive in case of AVF. 
right so that will be ranging from plus 90 to 180 degree right but when we are seeing extreme axis deviation where deviation will be from my mi minus 90 to 180 so you will find that both one and avf is having qrs complex going down negative deflection both will be having negative deflection right so we can remember this by a mnemonic also when we compare the lead one and avf qrx points when you are seeing their points remember what i'm saying the points you look at the points if both points means if both qrs in one and avf they are going up both up means normal both are up means normal so that is normal axis right when you are seeing this one is also up and avf is also up that means this is a normal and that will be ranging from minus 30 to plus 90 degree but when you find like this re left axis deviation l for left l will leave left will leave so left will leave means when you will see the tip of qrs in lead one and tip of the QRS in lead AVF, so they will be opposite to each other. They are leaving. Remember, they are opposite to each other. They are leaving. So left leaves means left axis deviation. When we are going to see the right axis deviation, remember the mnemonic right reaches. Left leaves, right reaches. So right in this, what we will see that right will be number one will be having downward deflection and AVF lead will be having upwards deflection. So because of this positive now you can see that they are reaching towards each other right so they are reaching towards each other so right reaches this is how we can remember so one and avf when you will see right are reaching right so right are reaching left are leaving left axis right are reaching right axis and when both are down extreme axis deviation you can see this is also down this is also down both are negative right so normal axis both will be up normal axis both will be up left will be left leaves right will be right reaches both down is extreme axis deviation so let us see some example of the ecg when you will see the normal axis so what we will expect now you can see normal axis what do you have to target you have to target the lead number one lead number one and lead number avf now look at the qrs complex how is the qrs complex both are having positive deflection right both are having lead one and avf both are having positive deflections right now when we want to see the left axis deviation now look at again we have to target one and avf in one we are seeing that qrs deflection is positive in avf we are seeing qrs deflection is negative so it is positive it is negative so they are leaving each other you understand you can see the tip of qrs is leaving each other so left will leave means this is a left axis deviation so left axis deviation will be lead one will be positive lead two will be avf will be negative right now look at the right axis deviation right will be reaching you remember right will be reaching so when you are seeing the lead one and avf you can see the tip of qrs you can see the tip of qrs they are reaching right so they are facing to each other they are reaching towards each other so the reaching right axis deviation means both if you look at the lead one and avf you will find one is having negative deflection and avf is having positive deflection that is right axis deviation and when you are going to see the extreme axis deviation both will be down so now you can see the lead one lead one and avf and both are looking down qrs complex you see the tip of the r wave r wave you look at they are down right so that is what we are going to see both are negative that means it is a extreme axis deviation so keep revising these topics for your exam best wishes for you